teaching you people. Gautam is a very polite and nice person. Yes, sir. So, whenever you start... 28-year-old male, driver by occupation in Defence Army, came with chief complaints of pain in lower back since one year, tingling numbness in the left leg since six months. Patient was apparently asymptomatic one year back when he started having pain after lifting a heavy weight of around 70 to 80 kgs. Pain was sudden in onset, localized, non-radiating, throbbing pain, aggravated by lifting weights, sports activities, jumping, and relieved by taking rest and applying heat and by taking hot fermentation. Pain has gradually increased. You are talking about one year back. You are talking about this thing, what you are describing in one year back when it started the yes, pain, yes, by sir. lifting weight. Yes, sir. Could you walk about, move about or here to lie down because it was too... Uh, like affecting his activities like driving and uh, including in sports activities. Patient also noticed tingling numbness six months back, the left side which occurs only after strenuous activities like running or uh, doing some activities for a long time. And it is relieved by taking rest and applying hot fermentation on the back. There is no history of any trauma, any signs suggestive of pox or pox contact. There is no history suggestive of any seronegative arthropathy, small joint involvement or morning stiffness. There is no history of any childhood infection or childhood trauma or surgery. There is no significant family or personal history. The local examination is within normal limits. The can be due to muscle spasm. Why should muscle spasm? The there is some instability which is causing him back uh, as no, a... But muscles, see, normally when there is spasm, suppose this is your spine, the muscles go into spasm, that means they become tighter and shorter. So the lumbar lordosis should be exaggerated. Why it is shorter? Why it is actually disappears? Or reduces the normal... You said lumbar lordosis is reduced, yeah. right? So why should ideally the muscles when they contract, the lordosis should increase? Imagine a bow. You have a bow. The thread is attached to one side. When the thread is, <coughs> thread is pulled, the bow actually increases its curve. No? It doesn't reduce its curve. But it is masking the effect. The spasm of the muscle instability. So what is, is there a disease-like instability? Uh, is there a pathology-like instability? Can you send something for histopathology and the histopathologist? Use your report that there is instability. So what, what would you like to revise your diagnosis or, or do you want to just stick with the instability as your diagnosis? Once you yes. What happens to the spine in paraspinal muscle spasm? What is the difference between this movement here, which he is doing, which is this, and what is the this? What is the difference? Up to the knee. So even you have paraspinal spasm. <laughs> <laughs> can be symptomatically maybe having, there may not be any fine. <laughs> you know Sachin Tendulkar, he has a spondylolysis, he is 100% normal. Okay, go on. Motor examination, Sida, <laughs> 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 See, we are all in chorus. We are thinking in the same line. <laughs> <laughs> is that the way you really taste uh, that sign? Yes, Again, we lower it down and try to uh, see for the Nasigas sign. He had ten, uh, now he is having pain in the posterior part of the leg and uh, posterior part of the thigh and leg. I will take ten, uh, 10 degrees down and dorsiflex his ankle. Yeah, this, uh, this aggravates his pain. Can you train him? <laughs> <laughs> so whose test is this test? Classic test. Which one? Dorsiflexion of the ankle. Is it classic test or phagen starts lower? There is, 
क्या हुआ
what does rattler mean you know it is that lamina loose piece of lamina which is there that is known as a rattler so what sir is vision or there is some there is a posterior lateral lumbar interbody yeah, i don't think it means that lumbar, but it is known as transforaminal lumbar interbody yeah okay and this will be all instrumented on instrumented so you know what sir was trying to tell you just say everything i will do an l5 laminectomy with a foraminal decompression with a transforaminal lumbar interbody fusion at l5 s1 with pedicle screw instrumentation at l5 and s1 that is the complete answer whatever you want to you know say or you can say some other procedure but say it complete or even in your your situation you can also talk about the pedicle screw fixation with intertransverse fusion like which also will be the medieval yeah by inter, intertransverse <coughs> interbody he talked about i think the impression we all examiners got is as soon as we put the x-rays we know that we already seen the patient see the case i mean this is the first impression good okay. so uh, just to Uh, have uh, we uh, my my impression about army person is sir bigger cycle that is the reason i uh, use the word <laughs> <laughs> in the peace time sir okay carry on uh, sir uh, presented with uh, uh, two minutes you are you are given yes sir 28 year old presented with uh, back pain column lifting of heavy weight which was a uh, uh, minimum uh, moderate grade which act, uh, allowed his activities all this is important now at the end of the whole process he spoke about it you know that the probably trauma is nothing to do with this thing yes sir 20 year your all young man in a army came with the back end yes. and the left yes. leg sciatica without any obvious single episode of injury and now it's a very long case Uh, my patient, Mr. Dilip Tate, uh, 49 year old laborer, has come with chief complaints of lower back pain since last 20 years, and uh, radiating pain along the right lower limb since last two to three years. Uh, he has also been complaining of splitting of chappals since last two three years. Patient has been experiencing pain in the lower back since last 20 years. Just stop. Patient... Sleeping, sleeping on chappal on one leg or both? Uh, only on the right side. And at that time, probably you could also add up he is non-diabetic. Or a diabetic, whatever it is. Have you found out? Yes, sir. He's a non-diabetic. Non-diabetic. Yes. Sir. <coughs> the patient has been having a lower back pain since uh, last 20 years, which was dull aching uh, in the lower back region, which was uh, non-radiating initially. It was uh, aggravated by activity, relieved completely by rest. Uh, since last two to three years, now there has been radiation of pain along the right lower limb. Uh, along the back of thigh, uh, lateral aspect of leg and uh, uh, soles, as well as the dorsum aspect of foot, uh, only on the right side, no complaints on the left side. Uh, so there has been uh, uh, complaints of. Uh, is that pain at rest, or it is on, on only on activity? So it's uh, more at the end of the day after his activities. Sir. It is not a chronication type of a pain. No sir. No sir. He uh, doesn't have any history suggestive of chronication. Doesn't have uh, uh, his slipping of chapels. Uh, he has history of slipping of chapels, which he comes to know probably due to a uh, weakness rather than sensory problem. But he does complain of complain of uh, decreased sensations in the uh, plantar aspect of foot as well as. Uh, you can try. He doesn't fit into any one particular disease pathology. So I think you have to specify those things what you are trying to talk about. You ask him, there is no claudication pain. He can walk as much as he wants. Yes. He has the pain only at night. End of the day, he is getting pain, and there is the the whole chappal is going away. It is not the way the disc really comes through. Ten years back again, then slowly the. The other thing you would like to give us a difference here. Disc is ruled out. Spinal stenosis is ruled out. Spondylolisthesis. Yeah. What about spondylolisthesis <laughs> after the last case? You are saying slipping of chappal. Like, there is significant motor deficit. There is significant motor deficit. Yeah, your mind should go. To, it should travel in this direction. Yeah, see, very right. We say you may be wrong. It doesn't matter at all. But this is not this. This is not canal. It involves his activities of daily living. No, sir. Except for the sleeping of chappals, it doesn't uh, really uh, affect his daily living. Right? Yes. Right. That means 
he probably has a radicular obstruction which is incomplete. Isn't it? Different. Slow growing. It's very, very slow. In his case, both SLR is 70. You know, so many of the affected side. So it has a relevance. Sure. My question is very direct. What is the neurological deficit? So on examination neurology. Is this grade 3 power? Or is I, this will, grade I, power? I will try to analyze this question. <coughs> what is grade 3, what is grade 4, and what is grade 5? Is what he is asking. Okay. All right. So you have so, grade So which neuro root is affected? So you'll find your group in the right shape. He doesn't notice that and also. Don't try to show off. And that also, when we enter into a little detail, don't go back to the event. Can I ask you? That is very important finding. Very important finding. It is because of the pain, no? Steep back? Or it is because of the fear? No, no, no. Go down, go down, go down. Go down, go down. Shoulder is at the same level, so there is no other problem. 